G'day legends. Today's video is when do I sell my crypto? This is a topic that um, people don't always think about. We all think about what we're going to do with the money, um, how good it'll be to have the money if we ever make it and we, we get that, that moonshot. But most of the time, that's not how you actually make money in crypto. Because what we all end up holding on too long if we uh, we think like that. Uh, most of the time, people buy uh, their cryptocurrency, their crypto coin, their favorite meme, whatever it is, and they just go right. I'll hold this. I bought it for uh, you know thirty cents, and you know I'm going to wait till it goes to ten dollars. Now, there's lots of things to take into consideration. Um, and part of that is you will actually have to do some research on it and every coin you're buying. Um, even if it's as, as simple as looking at the market cap. So a lot of people sort of go, right, as, as I said, you want, you want, you want to uh, buy it and then I want to sell it for this much. That is, uh, that's one way of doing it, but it's not necessarily a great way of doing it. Um, the, one of the ways I do it is I actually do it by market cap. Um, so I look at it and go, okay, this coin is similar to this other bit, larger coin. The other larger coins market cap right now, um, you know, the start of a bull market in the bear market is, so we'll say 3 billion. And the coin that I'm investing in that is similar and that I like, its market cap might be um, 450 million. So I, I estimate that there's a good chance that that coin, because it does what it does, which is very similar to the other coin, may also make it up to $3 billion. So that's one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is to set targets and go, okay, I, when I buy this, this uh, coin, we'll say, um, for me, um, it, when I buy uh, something, say, XRP, uh, this is just for for instance, it's not actually what I've done with XRP, but um, we will say we expect it to go to um, five dollars. We'll say five dollars. All right. Um, not financial advice. Don't actually know whether it'll go to five dollars, but this is just, we're just making something up here, right? So right now it's sitting at uh, fifty something cents. So we're expecting a 9x out of it, roughly. 9 to 10x, because um, it's in the 50s. I'm not sure where exactly. Now, is a 10x too hard going by its market cap? You have to look at it and say to yourself, will I be happy if this coin only makes a 5x, and will I sell it then? Um, because... Going by the market caps and, and how much you're happy to take out of it um, is, is a good way to do it. Uh, for instance, the larger the market cap, the less likely it is to have as many Xs. Um, the smaller the market cap, the larger chance it is to have um, a lot more uh, Xs, but the higher chance it goes to zero. So I actually like to shop in, in between those two, and I like to go those lower uh, mid-range coins. And I like to, um, for instance, I'll actually give you one, right? I like Chainlink. Chainlink's a really um, interesting coin. I like what it does. It's an oracle. Um, we won't go into that in depth right now. We can talk about it another time. But what it does, it does that, that coin, um, Chainlink, it does it on Ethereum. There's a similar coin on Solana uh, called Pyth or Pith, whichever way you want to say it. I like to say Pyth. Now, Pyth's market cap right now is, uh, off the top of my head, is about a billion. Chainlink's market cap is 15 billion. So, I can safely assume that it has a chance to run up to that point by the end of the bull market, knowing that um, Chainlink's market cap will also increase. But wouldn't I be better to just settle for aiming for, say, a $5 billion market cap? 
and then start taking it out. So say if it gets to three and a half billion, start taking some profits. These are all the ways that I would look at doing things. Um, setting myself goals using either the market cap or how many uh, X's I, I, I'm hoping that coin goes to and then cutting it down. Because if I think a coin is going to do a 10X, starting to take money out when it does a 3 or 4X is going to, um, yep, I'm not going to get the same result as if I kept it all until it did a 10X. But what if it doesn't do a 10x? What if it only does a 5x and I never took anything out? And then there's a black swan or the uh, market uh, doesn't, the, the bull market doesn't run as long as I think it's going to. I've already taken some profits. I've already secured myself some um, capital to keep investing or to, to use in my life. And that's where in crypto, because we hear about those moonshots that the thousand X people, the people on, um, uh, on, on on X or Twitter, or whatever you want to call it, Facebook, whatever, um, and they're all going, oh yeah, you, you're easily going to get, you know, a twenty X out of this coin by this time. Well, they may end up with no money. There, there's that's the simple truth, and if you listen to them, you may end up with no money as well. So my uh, instruction to you, not financial advice, but is to write yourself down goals. Write down what you think the market cap of a coin could go to, which infers that its price should be this much. It's because you should be able to work it out. You just do it by um, you know, timesing it by how much you had to times to get the market cap up. And then write down, right, if I think that it's going to go to a $5 billion market cap, and if that means that the coin will go from $0.30 cents to $1.50, I'm actually happy to start taking profit at a dollar, and I will sell 20% or 25%. And then as it goes, you know, I get another 20 or $0.30 uh, cents out of it, then I'll sell another 20%. Or 50%, whatever you are happy with. You've got to remember, a lot of this is based on how much money you actually are investing. If you're just uh, going for a bit of small investing, you might go, as soon as my money doubles, I'll take it out, and then I'll just ride the house with the rest. Does that make sense? Because that way you can look at any, you can just go, all right, I'll put some money into a meme coin. And as soon as it doubles, I'll take it out. And if I risk the rest, that doesn't matter. Or, or I'll have a target for it and hopefully I get to that target. And maybe I'll take some out before I get there. There's all different ways of doing this. But just picking a number and going, I'm going to buy my XRP um, for 50 cents and I expect to sell it for $25 in a year and a half. Yeah, that might happen. But there's far better ways to really secure and make sure you do actually make a profit. Because most people, when they first start, don't make a profit. All right. Well, I know this isn't the most enthralling topic, but it's one that uh, now that the, you know, the panic about the big dip we've just had is subsiding in your mind and you're starting to think about all the, you know, the money that you can make, which as soon as Bitcoin goes up, people think about the money they can make. And as soon as it goes down, they think about the all the money they could lose. That's another one. Another way I plan to um, decide when I'm going to, to actually sell for the very, where I think the top is. So remember, I'm going to take profits all the way up along um, until this point. But whenever I think that Bitcoin's going to top out, um, I will, I'll wait till about two weeks after and then I'll start taking profits because what will happen is people will take that have large amounts of Bitcoin will sell their Bitcoin and then they'll distribute the money down into um, currency cryptocurrencies under it. So they may move it from Bitcoin to Ethereum and Solana um, and and XRP, Cardano, uh, AVAX, stuff like that. So bigger coins in the top 10 under it. 
And then once they make the profits from that, then they'll move it down again. They'll take some profits out. Good traders, they'll take some profits out, but then they'll roll some of it back down into, and it'll just keep working down, right? So quite often by the, coin, the time it, it's getting down into the lower coins, it's been two weeks, three weeks, um, and you're sort of just going to wait. This will happen. This is my opinion, right? This will happen every time Bitcoin hits a large round number. You know, every time we get to, uh, we, well, we noticed it. We got to 70,000. What happened? We stalled out. We went back down to 60,000, just under 60,000. We had the same thing back when it got up to 60,000. It stalled out and it went back down to 54,000 or something like that. When we get to 80,000, it'll probably stall out because those people are going to take profits. The um, more the day traders and stuff like that. They'll take their profits. They had targets. Um, long-term holders. If you're a long-term holder like me, I'm just a long-term holder. I just DCA in. Just know that it's got 80,000. It's probably going to drop back down to a former support level, something like 72,000. We get to 90,000. It's going to drop back down to you know, 80,000 or something like that. It's just going to keep happening. So my, my target is 100,000 is going to be the first time I start taking like decent profits out and not just rolling into other stuff. 100,000 in Bitcoin, it'll hit 100,000. It'll drop down to say probably 90,000 or something like that. And then the money will roll in, in you know, once it's dropped out of uh, Bitcoin, a lot of that money is going to roll into other coins. So that's what I'm talking about. So watch your coins, your smaller coins, watch them a couple of weeks after um, every time uh, Bitcoin has hit a big level and then taken a drop back. You'll notice that when it drops back, some of the other coins, the popular coins, will shoot up. And that's the ones you want to be riding. Anyway, we're at 12 minutes, so I better leave that there. Um, hope you're having a great evening. Do something nice for someone else. Crypto Bogan out.